College athletes are now allowed to sign endorsement deals with companies. We talked about that a couple of days ago, but there's a new bill in the state assembly now that would give some athletes the chance to make a lot more money. And here he is, Fred Rogan, with more on that. And Fred's got company. Yes, I do have company. First, let's uh, let's talk about this NIL name, image, likeness. Where did that come from? Well, it was the brainchild of California State Senator Stephen Bradford. California actually was ready to go with this and pass it. And once the NCAA found out that the state of California was on board and going to pass this, they jumped in and said, okay, we're going to approve this name, image, likeness, which meant a third party could compensate kids and pay college kids, college athletes. So what does that do? You say, well, these kids are getting scholarships. Here's the bottom line. College kids were getting paid anyway. They were just getting paid under the table. And that's when you had recruiting violations. But Senator Bradford came up with a plan that legalized the whole thing and they were able to capitalize on their name, image, and likeness. And now, let's join State Senator Stephen Bradford. And Senator Bradford, thanks for jumping on. Thanks for having me, Fred. Okay, Senator, let's start with the NIL. It's kind of a town without a sheriff at this point because you have kids that can go to schools, and depending on how much money the boosters have and what jobs they can give them, they could be paid an awful lot of money. Do we need some sort of regulation in this, Senator? Yes, there is going to be oversight, and we're, we don't want this to be the wild, 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 wild west by no stretch of the imagination. Uh, and that's why we want to allow those student athletes to have agents to help negotiate it. We don't want it to be a wealthy booster to just putting money in their pocket. We want, you know, real legitimate advertising uh, opportunities or promotion opportunities for these athletes. All right, you're, All right. you're to be saluted for taking the lead on this, starting it in the state of California and now across the country. But Senator, you're at it once again. You have another bill on the Senate floor. This time you're suggesting that it's not a third party that can compensate these kids for name, image, likeness. You, in the original version of the bill, I believe you said, schools should split the profits from basketball and football 50-50. So the kids should now start getting paid on top of the name, image, and likeness. D have I got it pretty close? Uh, well, we're seeing share in the revenue and create a graduating graduation incentive fund. Put this money into a trust, an annuity, to incentivize athletes to graduate. And they will have up to six years after completing their eligibility to graduate and access this money that's put in this fund. If the athlete does not graduate, th they get no money. We're, we're trying to incentivize graduations here and ask these students to stay in college and, and, and finish their degree. So this is what we're trying to achieve here. I think it's noble. I, I, I think it's a, a noble gesture. Here's my concern, Senator. Do you really think USC or UCLA is going to share the profit and the revenue and put it into this kind of account? Because they would argue, I would think, we've got to fund rowing. Maybe we shouldn't say rowing at USC. They've got to fund the other sports that don't generate as much revenue. And if you do that, Senator, you're taking away from other kids. If they said that to you, what would you say? We're seeing we're not touching anything that's currently being funded, whether it's women's sports, whether it's field hockey, uh, badminton, or lacrosse, whatever those programs that you have currently right now, we're seeing anything above and ab uh, above and beyond your operating costs. So if you're at a break even level, it's no harm, no foul here. It's the additional revenue above what it costs, scholarships, funding the program, coaches salaries, all those things that keep the program going. We're seeing any profit or anything above that. That's what you go into this fund. Right, we're, the, we're not touching Title IX. Women are going to get the same amount of scholarships they're getting today if this works. And for schools that are not generating any profit, there's no impact. Right, but the schools that do generate profit, come on, mm -hmm. Senator, come on, yeah. come on. You really think they're going to dip into their profit when they're giving the kids scholarships in the first place to create an escrow or an annuity so they can cash in at the end? I think that's going to be a much more difficult sell. Without a doubt. We're, we're not saying it's going to be an easy road to try out, but we're out here fighting it. I think it's a good fight. I think it continues to work that we did, as you stated, with SB206 three years ago and name image three years ago name image and likeness and what we did last year with SB26 so uh, we're up for the challenge but it's it, it's gonna it's I think it's worth uh, the fight and I think college athletes will benefit in the long run if we can incentivize graduations.
All right, I'll, I'll say this. I think you've got one on your hands here. I don't think this one's going to be an easy one, but I'll also say, with all due respect, uh, you don't lose many. So, Senator, good luck in your pursuit, and I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Fred, for your interest in this. Much appreciated.